Oh joy, another Goblin Slayer situation is upon us. Honestly, I wanted this entire event to be left behind in 2018, but it seems like it has followed us into 2019, and people are getting all up in arms with the first episode of The Rising of the Shield Hero. Now, if you only browse her on YouTube, then most likely you have not heard. But if you follow me on Twitter, or if you just browse her social media, then most likely you have kind of heard the news or what some are saying about the rising of the Shield Hero. Some are going out of their way and basically saying that this series is straight garbage because the way it painted the female character that betrayed our MC. There's more context, obviously. There's a lot more to it than that. But... Just to get right into it, basically, once again, we have another situation that is all about how people are getting very sensitive to certain themes in anime slash manga. And I'm just going to bring up what I said with Goblin Slayer. You know, not everything is meant for everyone. At the same time, every writer has a right to do what they want. They have a right to go out of their way write the content they want. Right off the gate, the series was a dark fantasy. It was stated to be a dark fantasy, Goblin Slayer was, and the Rising of the Shield Hero, even though it has this happy, bubbly beginning, if you look into Rising of the Shield Hero, many fans, even myself, knew it was going to be slightly dark. I was told this before I even began the series. And seeing how people, once again, are getting very upset with how misleading the Rising of the Shield Hero episode 1 is, they're getting really upset, calling it one of the worst series, and how the writer has no respect for women whatsoever or anything. I'm just like, no, that's not the point. I mean, that, that's not the point at all. I mean, let's look at a couple of things that happen within that scene, okay? When it came to the MC getting accused, the king went out of his way and said that if he wasn't a hero, like if our MC was not a hero, he would have been executed on the spot. That basically shows that the writer is saying that what potentially the MC did, if he did, you know, touch a woman, then obviously he should be executed. That's what the king was basically saying. And so by no means was the writer justifying those actions saying it's good that this happened, that that woman, you know, is bad or whatever. It wasn't trying to put down women whatsoever. It was basically showing that yes, normally women in this society would be able to get the justice they need if they were wronged properly, which that's the whole system that's being set up. And so the writer wasn't justifying and saying all women are bad or anything. Just look, look at this. Look at, look at these reviews, okay? This is stuff from Anime News Network. Now, FYI, Anime News Network, they have reviewers that come together and they write up, you know, their thoughts and stuff of episodes of different anime from each individual season. And this is some of each individual writer, like reviewer on Anime News Network, talking about the first episode of The Rising of the Shield Hero. And I'm just like, oh my god. Like, what? Like, just... And this isn't just on Anime News Network. It's also all over different parts of social media, like Twitter and all that. I'm assuming it's going to be on Tumblr. I'm just like, oh, why can't, like, why can't we have one season with a dark fantasy that doesn't get people all overly emotional and sensitive and they want to shut everything down? I mean... It's creative freedom. When they, you know, the writers should have creative freedom to do what they want. If people are really this upset about something like this in Rising of the Shield Hero, never touch Berserk, never touch Vagabond, never touch Vinland Saga, never touch anything from the early 2000s and 1900s, never touch any of that because that stuff is too dark but for something that wasn't even painting women in a bad light to cause this much controversy is unnerving in a way. It really is. I don't want to start seeing my anime getting censored because people are upset because it hurts their feelings. So yeah, anyways, a little bit of a rant here. I just wanted to express my feelings that it's crazy that we are living in a society that just gets so sensitive to some of the stupidest things in terms of just like wanting to go out of writers saying that they're insensitive to women, painting women in a bad light, when that was never the point of the first episode in the first place. In fact, it was painting women in a good light saying that there was a system in place for women can get the justice they deserve. But, but okay, I love you guys. You have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Be safe, stay healthy, tell me your thoughts, how you felt about this, how do you feel about what's going on with the Rising of the Shield Hero, how it's getting the Goblin Slayer treatment, and with that, Chibi out.